Hi friends, welcome to our another video. I am Dr. Vimal. Hari, a joint laboratory technician grade 2 coaching at Biology Tutor. Like, share and subscribe our videos to get updated videos from our channel Biology Tutor. Today, our topic is anticoagulants. I am going to discuss about some of the important questions related to anticoagulants. First question, what is white clot syndrome? What is white clot syndrome? It is the syndrome associated with the use of heparin. Heparin associated thrombocytopenia and thrombosis is known as white clot syndrome. Next question, which anticoagulant is commonly used in blood bank? Which anticoagulant is commonly used in blood bank? Acidified citrate dextrose or acid citrate dextrose is most commonly used in blood bank. Two more anticoagulants are also used in blood bank. I will explain you. What are the different coagulants in the next slides? Who introduced acidified citrate dextrose? Who introduced anticoagulant acidified citrate dextrose? Lotit and Mollison during Second World War used acidified citrate dextrose for the first time. Next question. Citrate phosphate dextrose is an anticoagulant introduced by, I repeat the question, citrate phosphate dextrose is an anticoagulant introduced by Gibson et al. Gibson et al. It is also used in blood bags. Next question, citrate phosphate dextrose or CPDA, citrate phosphate dextrose solution with adenine is used as anticoagulant. These three anticoagulants are used in blood banks. Mode of action of citrate phosphate dextrose. Mode of action of citrate phosphate dextrose. It can prolong red blood cell storage life up to 35 days. It maintains platelet viability. Usage of CPDA improves Post transfusion visibility and improves glucose and ATP levels in blood. That is a mode of action of citrate phosphate dextrose. You should remember these points for your exams. It is very important. Next question action of citrate in ACD. We are going to discuss about each and every component in ACD and what are the different actions of these different components in these anticoagulants. First one, the action of citrate it acts by chelating the calcium. Next question, action of dextrose in ACD. Action of dextrose in ACD. Necessary for the metabolism of stored RBCs, that is the peculiarity of dextrose. Dextrose is necessary for the metabolism of stored RBCs. Next question, action of citric acid in ACD. I repeat the question, action of citric acid in ACD. It prevents the caramelization, that is the peculiarity of citric acid. That's why we use citric acid in ACD. Next question. Function of adenine in anticoagulant. Why do we use adenine in anticoagulant? It improves the viability of RBCs. The function of the mode of action of adenine, it improves the viability of RBCs. Next question, warfarin is an anticoagulant. Its mode of action. What is the mode of action of anticoagulant? Warfarin competitively inhibits. It competitively inhibits the vitamin K 
epoxide reductase complex 1 VKORC1 short short form of that particular enzyme complex is VKORC1 which is an essential enzyme for activating the vitamin K available in the body. Warfarin is used to treat what are they DVT or deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism or PEN, venous thromboembolism or VT. Mode of action of anticoagulant heparin. We all know about the anticoagulant heparin. It binds to or heparins bind to and enhance the inhibitory activity of the plasma protein and the thrombin against several serine proteases of the coagulation system. Most importantly, package 2A, 10A and 9A. Products are Debigatran, Ataxylate, Mesylate is a competitive direct thrombin inhibitor. Mode of action is thrombin enables the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin during the coagulation cascade. Its inhibition prevents the development of a thrombus. Next question. Epixaban is an anticoagulant and its mode of action is. What is the mode of action of anticoagulant epixaban? Highly selective, orally bioavailable and reversible direct inhibitor of free and clot bound factor 10A. Factor 10A catalyzes the conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. Factor 10A. What is the function of factor 10A? It converts prothrombin to thrombin. The final enzyme in the coagulation cascade that is responsible for fibrin clot formation. Elucus is the brand name of FDA has recently been updated and has given a nod to use Elucus as anticoagulant. Elucus, Elucus is the brand name of Epixaban. Elucus is the brand name of Epixaban. What is the drug? Savisa. It is an anticoagulant drug and brand name of Edoxaban which directly reversibly or selectively inhibit or selective inhibition of factor 10A. Next question, platelets get activated when they come and bind with dash in blood clotting. I repeat the question, platelets get activated when they come and bind with dash in blood clotting. Collagen, collagen in blood clotting. At sites of vascular injury, platelets come into contact with some endothelial collagen. We all know that, which triggers their activation and the formation of a hemostatic plug during blood clotting. Prothrombin changed to thrombin in the presence of dash. I repeat the question: During blood clotting, prothrombin changed to thrombin in the presence of dash calcium ion and thromboplastin final product of blood coagulation is fibrin next question warfarin inhibits vitamin k mediated activation factors what are these factors 2 7 9 and 10 next question an example for direct thrombin inhibitor which is the answer Ergotroban is an example for direct thrombin inhibitor. I repeat the answer. Ergotroban. Examples of 10A inhibitors in blood clotting. Epixaban, Betrixaban, Edoxaban, and Rivaroxaban. I repeat the answers. Epixaban, Betrixaban, Edoxaban, and Rivaroxaban are the examples of 10A inhibitors in blood clotting. Prasugel, clopidogrel, ticagrelor, and aspirin are antiplatelet agents. These are antiplatelet agents. Thank you. Don't forget to 
like share and subscribe our channel biology tutor if you subscribe our channel you will get free mock test with lots of mcqs